Hello, Shock16 back again with yet another video. In this video, I'm going to take you back to a time of fast forwarding, rewinding, bit of video tracking, static. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about? It's the VHS. That's right. I'm going to take you through my VHS collection, through some of the videos that I've brought during the 90s and the early 2000s um, there's quite a lot of them so this might be in two parts, it might not but we'll see how we get along so without any further ado sit back, relax and let's dive straight in shall we ok guys as you can see I've tried to sort them out into piles such as comedy, horror, um, action and stuff like that um, there's quite a few piles here, so like I said, this might be in two parts, but yeah, let's just dive straight in and see what we've got, shall we? Okay, so we'll start off with action, or what I think belongs in the action section anyway. This one here is um, Daredevil, this is probably the last VHS I ever brought before we all switched over to the good old DVDs. So what can I say about this one? Um, classic comic book hero um, Marvel film out of all the Marvel films it's probably not the worst but it's far from the best Bad Affleck as um, Daredevil wouldn't have been my first choice however um, Colin Farrell as Bullseye in this I thought was actually quite good um, but moving on next we've got another comic book hero this is Blade good old Snipes this is one of the better comic book um, adaptation kind of movies um, who don't like Blade? well there's probably a few out there that don't like Blade but I think Blade's a really good film I do have the second one of this on DVD um, I don't have Trinity but um, I might get um, like the trilogy all in a box set or something like that but that was Blade so we've got uh, Van Damme's Sudden Death not one of Van Damme's um, best movies, but it's all right for a quick watch through. Then we've got another one. This one's a lot better. This is again Van Damme double team. This is worth watch. Also got Mickey Rourke as the bad guy. Um, Dennis Rodman, as you can see there, he was actually quite good in this film. Actually, Dennis Rodman. I wouldn't have put him up for an all right actor, but. I thought he did a quite a good job in this. However, this one, also a Dennis Rodman film. Obviously, from the success of this one, he thought, oh, I'll do my own movie, but yeah, <laughs> the acting in this film is terrible. Let me tell you, the film is terrible. It's cheesy, it's just, oh, it's just a, it's just an awful movie. <laughs> Next, we've got Independence Day. Um, I really like this film, but I've seen a lot of reviews on this, and there's so many people that don't like it. Um, I don't understand why. I went to see this about three times in the cinema when it came out, and of course, as soon as it was released on VHS, I went out and brought it. Yeah, I think it's a, a good movie. Um, humans kicking some alien ass, as always, but altogether, I thought it was quite a good film. Don't understand, yeah, just don't understand why people have a bit of a hatred for Independence Day. Next we've got Jackie Chan, Mr. Nice Guy. I guess this is a kind of um, comedy action. Um, not one of Jackie Chan's best movies, but not one of his worst either. Not really much to say about this, just Jackie Chan kicking off a lot of ass. Some really cool stunts as always from Mr. Chan. Um, next up we've got Spawn this I used to love this movie when it first came out um, hence why I brought it but I've watched it recently um, on the internet and it just, it just don't cut it anymore it's really like the effects just don't seem good anymore and I don't know I, re I really used to love this film as well but now I just think it looks really cheap and cheesy but um so if there was any of but I do really like the spawn character so I think 
if there's ever a movie that needs to be remade now with all the CGI and technology we have these days, I think Spawn is one of those movies that needs to be remade because this could be awesome. They don't, um, I don't know if you've ever seen the animated series they did of this. I think it used to be on Bravo here in the UK. I'm not sure what channels it used to be on in other countries, but that was really dark and... Um, yeah, just like a really dark series. That was brilliant. And I reckon they need to bring another movie out that was more like that series. Okay, next up we have um, Romeo Must Die, a Jet Li movie. In fact, this was the, one of the first movies i ever seen of Jet Li. Um, I know he did a few um, Asian movies that was dubbed into English, but I think this might have been actually his first English movie. Don't hold me to that, but it's the first English movie i ever seen with him in it. I'm saying English, but you know what I meant. I mean, the language is English. Um, this is also has the later Leah in it. Um, this is a brilliant movie. I love this movie. In fact, this is probably one of my best um, Jet Li movies ever, if not the best. Um, yeah, really good action. Okay, next up we have From Dust Till Dawn. I'm a big fan of anything by Quentin Tarantino. In this film, it's got both Quentin Tarantino and George Clooney in it. George Clooney in this is amazing. He is just badass. In fact, this whole film is just badass. If you've not seen it, I guarantee you will enjoy it if you watch it. Um, yeah, so if you're going to watch a movie anytime soon... Make this your next watch, because I reckon this is a brilliant film. Okay, so next up we have American Samurai. This is a movie from the early 90s. I think it came out in about 92-ish or something like that. It's a very underrated movie. I don't think a lot of people have seen it. I know that um, a lot of my mates have now seen it, because when I picked this up back in the day, I was just like, dude, dude, <laughs> this movie is... It's just... I don't know, it's just like classic 90s action. Um, it kind of reminds me a bit of Bloodsport, but with weapons. If you like Bloodsport, then I reckon you'll love this movie. So go check it out, American Samurai. Okay, so next up we have End of Days, a classic Arnold Schwarzenegger movie. I'm a big Arnie fan. In my opinion, he is one of the... No, in fact, I'm not going to say one. He is the best action hero of all time in my opinion um, this isn't one of his best films but Arnold's kicked a lot of ass throughout his movie career and in this one he gets to kick the devil's ass you don't get more badass than that in my opinion okay moving on to a different category now I'm not really sure what genre to put these movies in basically I'm just gonna call it the section to watch with your girlfriend because these are the ones that I always used to watch with my girlfriend back in the day. I think that's um, pretty much the basis of why I even went out and brought these videos. Just for something to watch with the missus like on a Saturday night when we didn't go out or something. We used to put on a, go out, pick up a cheap video and um, put it on. So yeah, anyway, we'll kick off with this one. This is Hackers. This is a film that I actually watched in the cinemas when I was very young. Um, I think it's a brilliant movie. Um, it's one of those that I reckon goes under, like um, goes under the radar, very underrated. Um, this stars a very young Angelina Jolie, possibly her first ever film. Um, again, don't hold me to that, but this is the first time I've ever seen Angelina Jolie in the movie. Um, yeah, um, this is just like one of those um, movies that. I don't know. I don't know if it's really dated that well because, um, of course, it's about hacking and they're like hacking on um, computers that we had like back in the um, early nineties. Like, <laughs> and you're thinking, how the hell is that even possible? But um, yeah, um, it's still a funny movie and it's one of my classic movies. I do like this film. <laughs> 